Hello and welcome to this spotlight episode on the Prince August. Not only the oldest surviving biopeacock locomotive, but also the oldest operable locomotive in original condition in the world. Prince August was ordered from Bayer Peacock and Company of Manchester for the Swedish government railway in 1855. Sweden was a late comer to mainline railways, the first mainline network between Stockholm, Gothenburg and Malmö only being authorised in the early 1850s. The engineer tasked with his programme was Nils Eriksson, the older brother of the inventor and engineer John Ericsson, who designed and built the novelty for the Renault Trials. Tasked with purchasing locomotives for what would be termed the Southern Main Line was a talented young engineer and draftsman, Gustav Theodor Steiler, who travelled to Manchester to place the order for the first locomotives. He had worked in Britain in the late 1830s for Braithwaite & Co in London, until John Ericsson left for America in 1839. He befriended the Quaker engineer George Watson Book and accepted work on the Manchester and Birmingham Railway and designed many bridges and machinery as well as the layout for Manchester Piccadilly Railway Station. From there he travelled to France before returning to Sweden. Upon his return to Britain in 1855, in Manchester he met someone whom the Swedish Railway Museum describes as his soulmate, Charles Bayer, one half of Bayer, Peacock and Company. Their preserved letters hint at an intense, close personal relationship couched in the repressed language of the time. Styler would make several visits to Manchester during the 1850s, but his career would sadly not advance much further, perhaps due to his personal life. The first three locomotives for Sweden were part of Order 97. They were delivered in 1856 and were named after the surviving sons of the Swedish king. They were Prince Karl, Prince Oscar and Prince August. Both Karl and Oscar would reign as King of Sweden, but August, the youngest brother, was not thought to be of quote-unquote royal calibre. The Swedish expression, dumber than a train, supposedly stems from the locomotive which bore the prince's name. Prince August was built to a standard by a Peacock 240 design. They were provided with both crosshead driven water pumps as well as a steam powered donkey pump to put water back in the boiler. A large sandbox was provided on top of the boiler to feed dry sand to the driving wheels. Prince August and her sisters had a top speed of 75 km per hour, but due to the track in Sweden were limited to a maximum speed of only 50. This trio of locomotives arrived in Sweden before the main loan was actually completed and found themselves working ballast trains, for which Steely described them as being far too good. Sent with them was William Holmes. In Sweden, Holmes was tasked with erecting the locomotives and carrying out any test runs to iron out any faults. There were problems aplenty which needed ironing out, mostly due to the poor state of the track, and during that winter the ballast froze solid, giving a very rough ride indeed. This led to several spring failures, to rivets breaking on the side of the smoke box, and rivets breaking in the joint between the smoke box and the boiler barrel. There were also difficulties experienced with the brakes, that and being several hundred miles away from HQ at Gorton. Despite these teething troubles, these locomotives began a long-lasting relationship between Bayer Peacock and Sweden, with the Swedish government railways purchasing locomotives exclusively from Gorton until 1875. Originally numbered 3 on the southern main line, Prince August was renumbered 43, and was subsequently rebuilt with a cab, with a new spark arresting chimney, and with a new boiler with a large square bell per firebox. She had a working life of 50 years, being formally withdrawn in 1906 for preservation. In order to mark the locomotive's centenary and the 50th anniversary of the Swedish Railway Museum, Prince August was restored to original condition. Thanks to Bayer Peacock using standard designs with standard parts and other components, an original Bayer Peacock 1850s chimney could be sourced together with a vintage 1850s boiler, creating a composite 1856 Bayer Peacock locomotive from original components manufactured in Gordon. 
Whilst the chimney and boiler are not original to Prince Auguste, they are both of Bayer Peacock origin and of the same date. She is thus the oldest complete Bayer Peacock locomotive in preservation. Still operational in 2021, Prince Auguste is today the oldest operable steam locomotive using original parts supplied by her original builder. John Bull in the United States has been heavily modified and has not operated since the early 1980s. In India, Fairy Queen has been rebuilt so many times as to leave little of her original material remaining. So that's been a quick look at Prince Auguste, the oldest operable steam locomotive in the world, and perhaps the origin for the expression, as dumb as a train. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, leave a comment below. You can also show your appreciation by liking, sharing and subscribing. And you can also support Rail Story on Patreon and gain early access to channel content. I'd also like to thank colleagues at the Swedish National Railway Museum. And I look forward to seeing you all next time on Rail Story.